Hi, Ron here. Welcome to the Seated vs. Topic Pages episode of the Protopedia Video Guide. As you've probably guessed, in this episode, I'll give you a basic introduction to the differences between seated and topic pages. One thing that's special about Proteopedia is that every entry in the Protein Data Bank, or PDB, has its own page in Proteopedia. Each week, we take the new entries deposited in the PDB for that week and create pages for them in Proteopedia. In this way, Proteopedia continually updates with the PDB. But from what I just said, it sure sounded like all of these automatically created PDB entry pages in Proteopedia are stale and standard since they're automatically created. That's not at all the case, and let's take a look at one. We'll search for the PDB entry 2IVN. Each seated page, also called a PDB entry page, is named for that particular PDB entry with the PDB code, and has a 2D image of the structure, as well as a 3D rotatable and zoomable structure. The title sentence of the page comes from the title of the reference in which the structure was published. The overview text comes from the abstract of the primary reference. The primary reference itself appears on the page, as well as keywords to categorize the page. You can see that the seated text provides a good basis for an author to begin adding content, perhaps beginning by expanding the overview and adding green links to it. I'll just remind you that any page in Protopedia can be edited by clicking on the Edit This Page tab at the top of the page once you've logged in. And over here, since I'm logged in, it says Log Out. But if I were not logged in, there would be a Login slash Request Account button in this upper right-hand corner. Additionally, under the three-dimensional structure, we see something that we like to call the structure box. It organizes useful information like green links that highlight the functional sites, ligands, the activity of the protein, domains, related PDB entries, links that open up this structure in related and useful resources, and the option to download the coordinates of the structure in various file formats. Seeded pages create, contain valuable information as we've just seen, and they are seeds that will grow as users build upon them. Now in contrast to seeded pages, Protopedia also has pages that we've termed topic pages. Topic pages are pages that address a topic larger in scope than a particular PDB entry. An example of a topic page is hemoglobin. Another is acetylcholinesterase, and peptide is yet another. When a user searches the protein data bank for the word hemoglobin, he or she will find over 300 PDB entries of solved hemoglobin structures, some from different organisms, some of them having different mutations, each distinct in its own way. In Proteopedia, the topic page, hemoglobin, aggregates the relevant information on hemoglobin. Perhaps it begins with an overview showcasing a representative structure. Perhaps the page contains a section on high-impact hemoglobin mutants. And of course, the page should link, in an organized way, to many of the relevant PDB entry pages that share its topic. On the main page, you'll find a link as we scroll down called Topic Pages, which is a manually curated list of topic pages as well as user-altered seeded PDB code pages. It is by no means complete because it's manually curated. It may miss relevant pages, but it can be interesting to peruse nonetheless. Thanks for watching.